back friends and fellow meat enthusiasts. Today we're going to start by deconstructing a ribeye. I'm going to remove the bones. It's a whole seven rib ribeye here. So these ribs, once removed, work out real nice to grill, to smoke. They're even good in the oven. You've got delicious ribeye meat on each one that's close to connective tissue, which is often some of the most tender meat. So they always come out nice. So this is the strip end. This is the chuck end where you could see the cap muscle, or if you want to be a pretentious douche about it, the spinalis dorsi. And this is some of the best meat on the cow, in my opinion. We're going to remove it, and that's what we're going to grill separately today. And then we've got other plans that we're going to do tomorrow on the main eye of the ribeye. And there's a seam there, and it just starts coming apart on its own if you apply a little bit of pressure. Not much you need to do. And for my purposes, I'm going to try to leave more of the fat on the eye. So we've removed the cap, and it just looks like this elongated, tapered piece here. We're gonna season it up like any other steak and throw this on the grill. Before we go any further, I'm gonna rub a little olive oil on this, and then I'm gonna put the dry seasoning on so it can marinate overnight. And we'll show you what's gonna happen with the rest of it tomorrow. You could use any rub you like. We're gonna take our cap. It's gonna get a little bit of our seasoning blend residually on it, that's okay. And then we're just going to go with the salt, pepper, garlic here. We've got two thicker parts of the cap here. It's going to cook very unevenly from this real thin part here at the end. For ease of handling and uh, I think for a better cook, I'm going to split it down the middle here. And then it'll, yeah, that's going to be more manageable to do it that way. Know what you're thinking. Don't worry, there's plenty of steak. I don't actually have to eat any of that broccoli. Oh, that looks good. That actually looks amazing. I could feel the tenderness with the knife. That is outstanding. That beats a filet. That's, that's the best part of the cow right there. This is gonna be really hard to beat. Well, let's get on to the next part of the ribeye. Secret is truffle salt. Fried them longer than recommended by about five times. You left them in there for 15 minutes. Healthy dose of truffle salt. Amazing. Tough job, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've got off the smoker. We let it get to about 110 to 115 internal. It's got a little bit of a crust, but we're going to go ahead and sear it whole anyway. It's going to go right on. It's rested because we didn't want to overcook it in the middle. We just want a good sear on it. You guys pre smoked that before it went on the grill? Smoked it to about 115, 110. Um, Took it off, let it rest, because didn't want to overcook. So now we're just searing the outside. And I'm gonna go ahead and give this a flip. This doesn't need long, but that looks, doesn't that look good? That looks awesome. Woo! There we go. All right, that's enough. It's about time to come off. Woo. So it's rested a second time, and we're gonna slice good steak size here. Mm. 
and then they're gonna go back on for another quick sear. So we're off the second sear. We're just gonna slice these up. Good sandwich slices. They're going on sliders that we're putting together. And we're gonna assemble right after this. Oh, the smell is amazing. I really can't wait to just try one of these. This might be a new New Year's tradition. All right, we're gonna give this a shot. Oh man. Freaking epic. Smokiness, saltiness, perfect cooked. Oh man. I think I prefer that to a regular ribeye. I never thought I'd say that, but yeah. That's insane. Got a meat cut. Got our Hawaiian slider rolls. Our mushrooms and onions all cooked up. Garlic butter parmesan ready to go and some deli American cheese. So we put a healthy amount of ribeye and a layer across the rolls. Got some homemade garlic aioli here. Smells amazing. So once you got your sauce on there, we're gonna take mushrooms and onions. Just put a nice layer of that on top. Next for our cheese. All right, then we're gonna coat the bread on top. Take some of our melted seasoned butter. Apply that right over top. It's ready to go right in the oven. Just gonna put it in there and broil for about five minutes. Just go ahead and milk the cheese. And it's done. Ooh, that smells good. We're done. We got our steak fry here. Deep fried for about 15 minutes. Coat a little bit of truffle salt. Then we got the ribeye sliced cooled twice and seared twice with uh, all the fixings i say uh we, we i'm excited about this man <clears throat> too truffle salt's killer obviously anything deep fried you said awesome. something quite profound out there when we were trying them as we were cooking them i think you said if you don't like fried potatoes i don't want to know you yep yep that's, that's a true. fair statement it's true that's a fair statement it's true. Yeah. Well, let's, let's try the slider. <clears throat> oh man. It's quite possibly my favorite thing ever. All the things we've cooked <clears throat> here for this channel, we got a winner. Uh, that's, I don't say that lightly. I don't, I'm not, I don't just give that away. <laughs> nah. Rethinking some of my favorite foods right now. Yeah. List is shifting. Yeah, uh, we're doing this again, of course. We're gonna enjoy it today. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, but the dog is getting <laughs> Well, guys, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and subscribe if you're not. Thanks a lot for watching.